Gloucestershire did to Leicestershire what Leicestershire had done to them on the first day of their LV County Championship match at Grace Road as their lower middle order responded with the bat before late wickets put the visitors on top at the halfway stage of this game. Gloucestershire were in a little trouble at the start of the second morning but they soon found themselves in a lot more. Mike Klinger was strangled down the leg side to the day's third ball. And to the 10th, night watchman David Payne was bowled by a good one from Ollie Freckingham. A run had yet to be added and after Gloucestershire had managed to get from their overnight 31 to 46, they lost Alex Kidman as well. Freckingham the man to benefit this time from some flirtation outside the batsman's leg stump. So in 25 minutes, Gloucestershire found themselves on 46 for 5 in reply to Leicestershire's 250. The home side had recovered themselves from 52 for 5, so when Benny Howell, having spent time getting himself in, launched Jigger Nake back over his head twice for two sixes, it looked as if history might repeat itself. The recovery was led by both Howell and Hamish Marshall. Watchful at first, as he had to be, the Kiwi began to show the depths of his talents with some neat strokes, as this pair added 61 for the sixth wicket to at least release the pressure a little bit. The break for lunch didn't aid Marshall at all. He was dismissed soon after the restart. On 47, he was trapped in front by Freckingham, the 24-year-old collecting his fourth wicket of the innings with a ball that skidded on. At 107 for six, that recovery hadn't been developed fully as yet, but some superb stroke play from Will Gidman did seem to knock this mostly young Leicestershire attack back at had. The younger Gidman played some terrific shots as he dominated a seventh wicket partnership with Howell, who'd long since crawled back into his shell. Gidman is a very handy all-rounder who perhaps just favours bowling, although he has shown since joining the county that he's also a more than capable batsman, producing some quality cricket shots here. A second reverse sweep took him to a 50 off only 51 balls. He'd hit eight fours in that and in doing so had just started to make the Leicestershire fielders wilt a little. It was just what the doctor ordered for the visitors. Alas for Gidman, he couldn't go on and on 52 he was given out leg before to Nake at 174 for seven. Gloucestershire still trailed by 76 so they required more runs from Howell and their tail. Jack Taylor didn't disappoint as he got going with a six off Claude Henderson. Howell had hit those two earlier maximums but managed only one other four in his 50 which was made off a patient 152 deliveries. It was, however, a very valuable innings for his team, especially given where his side were when he came in at number seven. From 46 for five, they'd now earned a batting bonus point for passing 200. But like Gidman before him, he now fell just after completing his half century. Henderson with the LBW for his first wicket of the campaign. And when Cameron Herring chipped a ball from Robbie Williams to mid-off, Gloucestershire were on 229 for 9, 21 runs adrift of their opponents. But Taylor and Craig Miles in just his third first-class innings then held their nerves to take their side into an important lead, one which looked a long way off after that dreadful first half an hour of the morning. Both batsmen played with some skill. Taylor is certainly no mug with the bat. The 21-year-old is only in his 10th first-class game, but this shot took him to his second 50. What was even better for him was that it came at a runner ball and that had helped his side dampen Leicestershire's spirit somewhat. They would have expected to have been building a big lead with the bat themselves by now. Yet they were still made to wait to get out with the willow again as Taylor and Miles merrily went along their way, taking their partnership for the last wicket to 51 and their own lead on the first innings to a handy 30 runs. Finally, after 10 overs of trying, Leicestershire got their man, Williams claiming his fourth wicket as Miles, on a career-best 23, was bounced out. With Freckingham also claiming his career-best figures of 4 for 69, Gloucestershire had made it to 280. And they now had 10 overs with the ball to see what damage they could do. Will Gibman needed only one delivery to see the back of Michael Thornley, who chipped straight to Payne at mid-wicket to complete a pair in this match. Gidman then completed an excellent day for him and his team by trapping Niall O'Brien in front for seven as Gloucestershire ended the day back on top. It had been some turnaround for the second day in succession and who knows what the penultimate day will hold. Leicestershire will start it on 32 for two, giving them a lead of only two runs. But whatever occurs in the first session, don't count your chickens that something similar will happen beyond that.